Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love by Chetan Asnori and today we're gonna review the Ground Zero ROM for the Galaxy J5 2015 edition and and before we get started I would just like to say if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and once again don't forget to subscribe and help us reach our goal of 1000 subscriber really soon. So let's get into it. So the ROM is based on the stock Android. So it is really great for this device because it has not a lot of horsepower under its hood. So the stock Android is a really light ROM and the stock Android ROM comes around 300 MB. So it is really light for this device and it is really great for this device. So it runs the stock Android really smooth. So the ROM comes with the Nova launcher and you know that you can customize that a lot. So first of all the Nova launcher comes with the Google Now like UI but you can change that and I have made my device look like the Google Pixel and I really love the Google Pixel's UI so I have made it into that. And if you wanna make your device look like the Google Pixel I have already made a video about it and link to that video will be right over here. And please do check it out if you want to make your device look like the Google Pixel. I think it is really cool. So I made it look like that. Let's get into the app drawer. And the ROM comes with this ad way. And what it does, it, it blocks the pop-ups and the ads that come very often. But some of the sites do not work if you have ad way installed. So I don't really like to use it and I always disable it. So you I try to keep it disabled most of the times and moving on to the this over here the dev tools these are the developers tools so you have many options over here and they are more for the developers and not for the daily users so just don't mess with that and if you want to mess with that that's okay with me so if you want to check it out you have many different developers tools over here so let's get into the camera application and the camera application in this rom is okay and sometimes it does that and i think i need to reboot the device for that so let me just quickly reboot the device so as you saw that the boot up animation is really silly i guess and it is you know it it, it gives me a nostalgic feeling because the old school games used to have that kind of graphics and that kind of text so it gives me a nostalgic kind of feeling so I like it but I think it is a bit silly and let's get into the camera application now and it is giving me errors right now but it does work and the camera application is okay and it is good you have many options over here it is like the manual option in the Samsung you have those options in that and you do not have much of the camera modes you have uh, photo mode video mode and pen normal mode and front and back camera but i think anyone would be happy to use that camera application every day so right now it's not working maybe it, there is a problem with my camera so i'll check it out later so you have the equalizer application which is a basic equalizer application so if you don't like to interfere with your audio that much it is a great application for you but i prefer the viper for android and viper for android is my favorite application of all time it just makes the music so much better so i always use the viper for android so the rom also comes with this google now launcher if you want to use it but i don't really use the google now launcher i really love the google pixels ui so i try to get into that kind of area and stay away from the google now launcher so you also have this ground zero rom so you have all the information about the ground zero over here you have the installation you have the google application information 
and many other things over here so you get many different information about the ground zero roms so you also have this ground zero rom kernel auditor so in this you can change many things you can get information about your device and all and it is a really advanced thing over here and you can have the frequency table over here you can change the cpu frequency over here so as you can see you can change the maximum frequency the suspend frequency you can see and change the cpu voltage and as you can see you have many options over here so these are some advanced features in this rom so that's that and the rom comes with the magist manager so the magist manager is you can say a new version of the super user application because it gives you the functionality of the super user as well as the functionality of the expose installer which is really great and you also have this OTA update application and this kind of ROMs have you know updates over nightly or weekly so I have a new version available and this application I really love the OTA updates because it informs you if there is a new version of the ROM and you can download it and install it from right over here so that is a great feature to have and you also have this application the substratum so what it does is it installs themes on your device and you can also change the boot animation the font packs you can download the theme packs and install them so you have many customization settings in this ROM so that is great and let's get into the settings now and first of all what you will notice is that you have the Wolves 10 customization over here after the connect settings over there and in this Wolves 10 you can customize your ROM a whole lot you can change the system settings you can change the LED settings you have theme resources animation blur expanded desktop power menu and all you have the lock screen options over here you have status bar navigation button and bar and all you have multi bar multitasking over here so you have many different customization options in this room and that is just great so you also have the magist manager substratum and kernel auditor over here so you can go into those from right over here as well and i've never seen so much customization available in a rom before so that is really really great about this rom and you can customize your rom however you want so that is really great so one more thing i forgot to tell you is that the rom does not come with the google applications and you do need to install them separately it is not that hard i've already made a video about it and link to that video will be right over here and please do check it out and install the google applications and it is really simple just follow the video and it will be done so don't worry about it so moving on to the settings once again let's talk about the battery life now and the battery life in this rom is just amazing i've been using it a whole lot and the battery life does not reduce that much and it is giving me a pretty great battery life and i would really recommend this rom if you want to use it for the battery life i think the j5 gives you a great battery life but these rom enhances that battery life to a whole another level and you also have the simple battery saving mode if you wanna use that or not so the battery life is already amazing I don't think you will use a battery saver but it is there no matter what so moving on I always recommend reducing down the animation scale because it makes your phone look so much faster than before so I reduce them down to 0.6x but you can reduce them down to 0.5x as well so that makes your phone seem a little bit faster so I would definitely recommend that do that and you will feel much faster and let's go into about device and you have the whole validus OS logo over here a huge logo over here and it says that this ROM is the validus version over here and the android version is 7.1.2 that is the latest version available right now so that is really great and the rom does not come with the 
and the rom does not come with the google assistant so that is a downside but i don't think many roms are coming out with the google assistant right now so that is okay i guess so this is one of the best roms that i've ever used on the galaxy j5 2015 edition and i would definitely recommend this rom for the daily usage and this rom is just amazing you get great battery life there is no lag in this rom you get nova launcher and the phone feels so much faster so i would definitely recommend this rom for all of you using the galaxy j5 2015 edition the phone feels so fast and there is no lag and you get a great battery life as well so i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys